Okay, everybody, welcome to another video. I'm going to talk about roofs in this video and how you can get the multiple gables. We're going to be putting a gable on the front here on this little townhome that I have. Um, I'm no expert on roofs, but just from previous projects and this recent project that I did, just wanted to share some knowledge that I've learned. Um, I feel like the easiest way to accomplish um, to have multiple valleys and hips and um, gables is to have multiple roofs. You have this one base roof and then this is a second roof and then this will be a third roof that we're going to be doing. Um, to start off, what you want to start off with is the main roof, what you want your roof to look like. Um, and it's just it's like your base roof, no extra um, detailed designs or whatnot, just what you want the base roof to look like you want to make sure that it slopes all the way down so the water goes all the way down on both sides. Um, so that is what you're going to have to start off with first. And to do that, you just, when you go into um, your specific floor plan and then you click on your roofs it brings up drawings and stuff like that so that you can draw out your roof and um, it'll look like this oh, I just double clicked it so it's letting me edit it right now but um, so then you just want to draw out your square of your roof and if you were to leave it with just a square it would just be a flat roof nothing too special but you don't want that you want to have that nice side gable so what you want to do is you want to at the slope arrow of course and the trick about the slope arrow is that the arrow points to the peak so you start a flat point and then you end where you want your peak to go um, I always thought the, it was the other way around but it's not so the arrow points to where you want the peak to go and in this example here I wanted the peak to be in the center of the house. Sometimes you'll, it'll benefit to have it on the right side or left side, but for simplicity, I just wanted it to be right in the center. So I just, what I did was I found a line and then I followed this line until I found the center. Kind of just made like, oh crap, it was making a slope during that point. Um, and I just did a line. Okay, so right there is the center. And then I drew my slope to the center. Because sometimes if you just do the slope like this, sometimes it won't find the center. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I just, you know, make it easy on myself. I just drew a little line so I can find the center easier. And then when you hit OK, it'll make that roof. One thing I failed to mention, though, is when you are selecting the slope. So for example, this, say I put the slope on here, it'll say a height offset, and this is the height of the peak that you want. Um, and depending if you have some kind of code requirement where the building can't be higher than let's say 30 feet, and you know that the top of the roof of the second floor is 20, you want to make sure that's 10, or whatever. Um, and then you can do some math, find out what that slope is. Um, but if you were to make that 12 foot, the peak would go from here to the point of the arrow, it would be 12 feet, um, etc. Um, so, the next thing to do, and if you notice, this is just something to take note of. you notice that my roof does go all the way across but when I hit submit there is this cut in and I'll show you exactly how I did that and why I did that here in a second um, but for now let's just make we're going to make that right there so I'm just gonna do it on the second level um, I know you're supposed to do it on a roof but my roof plan is not set up properly at this moment and this is and it'll get the job done so what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure I had um, a gable that was over these two windows to make it look real pretty so you can do a square just 
be faster. Um, I'm going to make sure it's about right there for now. And then try to find. So that's the center of that square. So then you can highlight the square. Why is that doing it? Oh, duh. So I put a little line saying, okay, that's the that's the center. Highlight the square plus your little um, center mark. Hit the tab T until it's about centered with that. So okay, that's about where I want my second roof to go. All right, now you do your slope. I want it to go in the center and see it, it grabbed the center that time, but. When I was doing it earlier, it wouldn't let me grab it. That's why I always have a center mark. And I want the center of the roof to be like that. And um, I'm going to change this to 11 feet because if you remember, the other um, slope of the main roof was 11 feet. And I want to show you what happens if you have that as 11 feet as well because you were like, oh, I want it to be at the top as well. But we'll see why you won't want that in a second. So hit check mark. Now let's go to 3D and see what it looks like. Okay, obviously I made an error because if you look at it, base level is level 2. I want it to be on my roof level, which will bring it up to there. Um, now, as you can see, uh, it's not lining up with what I had this cut out, so I'm going to delete that cut out. And so, what you want to do is oh there is one thing I forgot to do with this I wanted to bring this out to there I wanted to have it to be a foot past the wall um, and you can always as you saw I'm in 3d view and you can just double click your roof and edit it so anyway so now I have another roof and then but I don't want it to be right here so what you do is you go to vertical cut and you click on what plane you want to cut on, you want to cut this roof. And so you want to be right on top of it, and then you're able to you want to trace out, actually you know what, it would be better if I picked a line. I pick that line, and I'm going to pick that line, and then I'm going to take a line to connect them. When I cut out the roof of where I'm having that gable, can't, can't, that's fine. You can unjoin them. That's all right. No big deal. So when you do that, you have that hole. But I actually want to make that cut all the way there. Um, when you do that, have that cut out. So now I'm able to take this wall and attach top to bottom to make that wall go up and make that look pretty. And then you want to take that roof and you click this button right here to join roofs. You click that line to this roof and boom, it makes it look pretty just like that. And the reason why it did that right there is because. I have the slopes the same. So to get rid of that, you have to take click click on it to edit the roof, click on the slope, you want to change it. I change it to 10. And make sure you change that one to 10 as well. And then you hit OK. And there. So yeah, it kind of does it. So you might have to go a little bit lower, but it's not as noticeable. Um, and so that's how you make a gable in the front of your house. You can make it in the back of your house. You can make it wherever you want. And then you can clean it up by editing it again and make sure that it that they match. Um, so that's how you make that gable.